tonight helping the families of first responders. Last year, seven Tennessee officers died in the line of duty, and countless others have been hurt. Well, now there's a new program meant to help the families in the aftermath. As News 2's My Ellen shows us, it's focused on first responders' children. They all have stories, and we know them all. It's the stories linked to a first responder, each one with their own story, each one with a community behind them. I've been in a lot of those processions, those funeral processions. And when you drive from the church to the funeral, to the funeral home or the grave site, people are lined down the streets with American flags. Their, their flags hanging from ladders from fire truck. But it's the visit Reed Trickett makes before and after the service that's led him to be dedicated to his organization. It's painful oftentimes um, to meet with the families when, when their loved one has, has died in the line of duty. Trickett is the president of the 100 Club of Nashville. The nonprofit organization helps to provide funds for first responders in the aftermath of death or injury. We represent just a core of the community that believes that we ought to take care of these people. They are taking care of us. And now a new service dedicated to the children of first responders is being offered in Tennessee. Today, Centerstone announcing a partnership with the First Responders Children's Foundation to provide free mental health counseling to children of active or retired first responders in the state. Serving the families of those who have served um, really um, expands the impact that we can have on mental health overall in the community. First responders, including police officers, firefighters, EMS personnel, paramedics, and 911 dispatchers often encounter dangerous and traumatic situations, experiences that can have long-term effects on their children. Um, they often experience anxiety and fear for their parents' safety. They face disruptions in their daily routines due to uh, the parents' irregular and prolonged work schedules, um, which can, of course, challenge a child's sense of routine, stability. Um, they bear the weight of hearing stories of loss and danger from their parents. Focusing on the mental health care they need. Tennessee children of first responders under the age of 25 qualify for this support. Participants can receive up to 10 free and confidential sessions in person or virtually. For more information on the program and how to sign up, we have that information over on our website, WKRN.com.